Blog Talk Radio. And welcome to this week's edition of Live Without Limits. And today's show is titled 10 Best Tips to Promote Your Website for Free. Well, for one thing, if you are looking to grow a business, you need to promote. And promote means doing what will help you get your website marketed or or visible because what you want is organic traffic. And to get that organic traffic, it means building visibility of your website. There are at least 5.27 billion web pages in 2021. And every day, the number is growing with that many pages to compete with, how will you get people to notice and read through your website? Don't sulk. We got your back. 10 ways to promote a website free of charge that you can try. And for one thing, it's very important. The first thing you need to do is stop blogging. Start posting interesting topics on your blog site to drive traffic to your website. When you promote an eye-catching article, the viewer will keep looking through your website. High-quality blog content also helps build your reputation. People who like what they see on your website will remember your name, and recommend it to their friends. That's the thing. You want organic traffic. And to get organic traffic, you need to be visible. And one way to make sure that you're visible is to write articles, whether it's on easyarticles.com, whether it's actually on your website, or you can set up a blog with WordPress because that's exactly what WordPress was set up to do, was to be a blogging site. So you can create a full website on on WordPress, but make sure that you're always writing and posting articles on it. Use search engine optimization keywords. Did you know that WordPress alone produces 70 million new posts each month. With this large number of posts, how will you get people to view your website? Promote your website for free by using Google searches to drive traffic to your website. Your goal is to get the keyword searches of your website to appear on the upper part of the search result pages. To do so, you can hire top-notch services to help you with search engine optimization. And always remember this, when you're bidding on keywords, no keyword is worth more than cents. And that's simply because when you look at it, out of 100 people that actually click on a keyword, maybe one will buy. So therefore, if you look at what you bid for and how much you're paying and then what you're selling your product for, then you need to look at how you can break even and actually make money when you're bidding on keywords, not losing money. So what is search engine optimization? 
search engine optimization strategy helps increase a website's visibility in results pages. Without SEO, your website will likely get lost among the thousands of websites. How can SEO help to promote a website free of course? When you create blog content, key phrases that people usually search for must be present. This will help increase the number of link backs. In turn, this will increase your website popularity. With increased popularity, your website will likely appear at the top of the search result pages. The third thing to look at is guest blogging. Promote a website for free. Of course, partnering with another blogger. Let another blogger write content on your website or become a guest blogger yourself. This may result in a spending awareness of your brand to another blogger's audience. Facebook added 299 million more active users in 2020, and the number is increasing. That means that if you use Facebook, you will reach a greater audience. Drive inbound traffic to your website by advertising your website on Facebook. Not only do you reach a wider audience, but you get to promote the website for your cost. Don't forget to use Facebook stories by posting interesting content. Include a swipe up on your post, linking them to your website. This will help drive inbound traffic to your site. You can also use Instagram to promote your website. Other social media platforms that you can use to promote a website free of cost include Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. Consider creating an account on these platforms to reach a wider range of audiences. Now, I'm going to quickly go back and say this simply because it's important for you to remember. Twitter, you can only use 240 characters. On Facebook, because they are, are marketed on the NASDAQ, that they are looking to make money for their shareholders. And to do so, they want you to sell or, or advertise and pay for advertising. So they're going to limit the number of people who can see anything you promote for free. And remember, they were just down for 24 hours because of some, a glitch in their software. So those things happen wherever you are. And TikTok is an app that many, and actually videos the same way in that YouTube is videos. And people are always looking for videos to watch. So that's one of the best ways to actually promote your products. Join forum discussions. People refer to online forums to gather information. They may ask about a product's review on rec review or recommendation from the forum's members. Interact with audiences by answering their questions. Promote your website by adding soft advertisement phrases. For instance, you can write. If you're looking for more detail on the subject, try visiting websitename.com. Online forums to consider include Reddit. Reddit is an online community that discusses a variety of niches. Join in on the discussion 
that relates to your specialty and give insights. Quora. You can use Quora to provide information about a certain product or service. Give insights while promoting your website for free. Here's a little thing about Quora. People get paid to ask questions. So a lot of their questions are actually reworded in 10 different ways, but basically asking the same question. And not only that, whenever you try to promote a website, guess what happens? It can be reported as spam. And when it's reported as spam, then it's taken down so that no one sees it. So you always need to be aware of what's going on on a lot of these platforms. Now, I'm on a site called WebTalk, and yes, I'm connected with a lot of people, but the one thing I have found is that instead of trying to find out what my interest is, all they do is they're, pro they're promoting their products and their service, especially cryptocurrency. And cryptocurrency is not something I'm interested in or ever really have been that interested in. But there have been platforms that I use where you have to have certain cryptocurrency to do business on there. But it's not something that I'm interested in as trading. And yet, even though I tell them no, I keep getting pushed and pushed back, and I almost have to curse them out to tell them to stop sending me information that I didn't request to begin with and have no interest in. So you need to, to look at the types of forums you're using and whether or not they're good for you and your product. Promote a website free on Pinterest. Did you know that every month, 478 million people use Pinterest to find ideas? Around 60% of users are women. This means that if your target customers are women, Pinterest can help promote your website. Pinterest can also help increase inbound traffic on your website. Pinterest allows you to post quality photo related to your product or services. What's great about that is that you can now link the website to the photo. When a user sees the picture, he or she can click on that item in the picture, which will link them to your website. Not only does inbound traffic increase, but you also get to promote your website and product for free. Google Business Profile. Google Business Profile allows your e-commerce business to appear in Google Maps results. Information like your website will also show in your profile. It also allows you to post your Google listing, which you can use to promote your website to your audience. Google Business also has an app that you can download to your phone and then keep a record or keep follow up on it to see who's following you on Google. And here's the thing. Remember this. If someone wants to do business with you, they want to do research and they're going to put you into a Google search for search engine optimization. So it's like every time I promote this radio show, one of the keywords that I use is my name, and the other keyword is the platform that I use because they get a high ranking, and I want my shows to rank high. Use free press releases. Did you know that there are plenty of agencies that offer free press releases as a, tri as a trial of potential customers? Take advantage of this and get them to promote your website 
free of charge. Write a high-quality press release and send them to PR agencies that offer a free trial service. Send it to as many PR agencies as you find to reach a greater audience. In this manner, you get to promote your website for free, boosting your e-commerce business. Email marketing. There are 3.9 global email users. This means that if you're looking to reach a wider audience to promote your website, email marketing is the way. Email marketing is a great strategy if you're aiming to target consumers who constantly check their emails. Email marketing can help increase inbound traffic to your website. With the use of effective communication skills, you can get the receiver to check out your website. With the right content, email marketing can help boost your website's popularity. A small, friendly reminder about a promo or sale on your product or service can get receivers to click on your website link. If satisfied, you will likely get regular customers who can potentially recommend your website to their friends. This not only brings inbound traffic, but also promotes your website for free. Here's another thing to think about. Make sure that if you're using affiliate marketing to help you promote your products for sale and they make commission, make sure that their list is vastly different from your list because I can tell you this much. I am on several, I get emails for summits all the time and because they use speakers as affiliates, and I'm on those people's list, I can be bombarded four, five, and six times a day with the same email. And all it's doing is getting me to the point where what I want to do is just unsubscribe to people's email list because I don't want to receive an overabundance of emails. So make sure that when you want your affiliates to do their marketing for you, that they weed out giving it and sending it to the same people that you're sending it to, because that's the best way to turn people off to using you and your products or even attending their presentations. Online directories allow you to post advertisement at no cost. Directories display your business name and website. This can be this can help boost your search engine optimization. All you have to do is submit the URL to your website along with a description of your organization or business. Your site information is then stored in the data bank of the directory. That ensures that your website link will appear when the user searches content relevant to your business category. One thing you need to be aware of is this, that there are many different types of directories online, and you want to use them that are going to be the ones that reach your marketplace because you need to stick with what's your niche, what's your industry, who are you looking to serve. Therefore, it's really important for you to tie all these things together and be aware of how you can utilize things and make it to the best possible position to get more eyeballs, get professional help. If you want to promote a website free of cost, you have to invest a lot of time and effort. Thus, 
we recommend that you get professional help from those who specialize in marketing. Let me tell you this much. Organic marketing is really great, but unless you want to spend the time doing that marketing, it can be very tedious and very time-consuming, and it can also be a time waster for you. So always look and be aware that what you're looking to do is to offer something that will generate from you the kind of business that will help you establish yourself as being credible within your industry. And the best way to do that is to do your research. And I, I, it's for one thing, I've been creating a lot of e-learning courses, and I've been selling them on other platforms, but I also have them sitting on my website and flat, on, a, on a specific platform. So what I've been doing is creating some sales funnels and then utilizing someone else to help me sell my product. And the purpose of this is so that I don't have to do the marketing myself. Remember this. If you work within a specific industry, if you have certain strengths and your strengths are not in marketing and you don't want to spend the time doing that, then the best way to get the help you need is to find someone who specializes in that industry. And you'd be surprised how many times I actually have people sending me emails that they want to meet with me, and all they want to do is offer me a course in how to go do marketing, even though that's not my strengths, and that's not what I want to spend my time doing. So you need to do your research. You need to do your due diligence and if you want to, you can go on to Fiverr or Elance or any of those platforms where you can find people who specialize in that type of marketing and then let them do the marketing for you because it's far cheaper. If you want a virtual assistant, then there's places that you can go to get a virtual assistant that can do your marketing, your blogging, and all, and your press releases for you. That way, you can spend your time doing what you enjoy doing the most. The problem is that you can't wear all hats. And when you first get started, you try to simply because you're trying to cut the expenses. And that's really great, but here's the kicker. If you spend the time doing the things that you don't like doing, well, what's going to happen? Then you're either going to get bored with your job because you're not doing and interacting with people the way you envisioned yourself because you get, you're having to spend the time doing the things that you don't want to do. And today, because all business is done through e-commerce online, then the best thing you can do is find someone that works for you as an independent contractor. That way, the two of you are happy with what you're doing, and you can cross-promote to each other's customers simply because you're in separate, different industries, and it helps to do things where you get to do what you love to do while they get to do what they love to do. And remember, you can go to my website, and that website is the number one personalcareercoach.com, and you can sign up for individual or group coaching, and we can work with you to help you determine where your strengths lie, what you enjoy doing, and how to outsource to people 
within different industries and in different niches, or either how to bring on a virtual assistant that can do those things for you, and you can outsource that work. And here's the thing. Always remember this much. When you are looking at what you want to pay and what your profits are and that you want to increase, well, the thing you need to do is small so you can increase and then don't overprice yourself and then don't try to, 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 to keep doing the same work for someone simply because it didn't meet your standards when you gave it to them the first time. 